All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's consider this question on the Laplace. It says, find the Laplace transform of f of t. If f of t is equal to, in two ways, cos t minus 2 pi all over 3, if t is greater than 2 pi all over 3, or f of t is equal to 0, if t is less than 2 pi all over 3. All right, yeah, pay attention to this question. It's very important and it's very simple at the same time. You know, we are asked to find the Laplace transform of f of t if f of t is cos t minus 2 pi all over 3 when t is greater than 2 pi all over 3 or f of t is 0 when t is less than 2 pi all over 3. All right, good. Now let's go. You know, by definition, we say that Laplace transform of f of t is the integral from 0 to infinity e raised to the power of minus st f of t dt. All right, good. Now, in this case, now we have uh, a second translation or shifting function. Okay, good. Now look at this. You know, here we have f of t is in two ways cos t minus 2 pi all over 3 or 0, okay? So that means we're going to take from 0 to 2 pi all over 3 and then from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity, all right? Uh -huh. You know, please, I want you to watch a tutorial on the second translation property, okay? So that you understand what we are doing better, okay? Now, let's go. In this case now, we say that our function is from zero to infinity that is the scale or the limit all right but what we are given here there is a point two pi all over three from zero to two pi all over three and from uh, two pi all over three to infinity that is the two things we are going to do all right good now let, that means we are going to have the laplace transform of f of t is equal to first one we say from zero to two pi all over three e raised to the power of minus st f of t dt plus the integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity e raised to the power of minus st f of t dt. All right, good. Now, we say it from 0 to 2 pi all over 3. What is it giving us? When t is less than 2 pi all over 3, okay? It's going to give us zero that means our f of t is zero all right so here in place of f of t we write zero plus from two pi all over three to infinity so this place is telling us that t is greater than two pi all over three and when t is greater than two pi all over three the function f of t gives you cos t minus two pi all over three okay so that means in place of f of t, now we write cos t minus 2 pi all over 3 dt. Is that clear? So now look at this. The first time here, we have the integral from 0 to 2 pi all over 3. e raised to the power of minus st, f of t is 0 here, dt. So when you multiply the whole of this, it's going to give you 0 because our function is 0. Is that clear? Now let's go. The second part is the only thing we have remaining here, okay, which is the integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity, e raised to the power of minus st, cos t minus 2 pi all over 3 dt. So this is what we are going to work on, okay? Please pay attention. Let's go. In this case now, we are going to say let t minus 2 pi all over 3 be called the letter u, okay? t minus 2 pi all over 3, let's call it a letter u. In this case now, we can make t the subject. That means we take minus 2 pi all over 3 to the other side. Going to the other side to turn to positive, right? That means we're going to have t is equal to u plus 2t u plus 2 pi all over 3, all right? Here we have t is equal to u plus 2 pi all over 3, okay? Now, let's differentiate. The value we have here is, or the variable we have here is t and u. 
we differentiate either with respect to t or with respect to u anyone you want to and then you make the t the subject because in this integral here we are changing the variable from t to u so it's no longer going to be integral with respect to t rather to the new value with respect to u so that means we are going to have a new value for the t so that is the reason why either you differentiate t with respect to u or you differentiate u with respect to t either of them it gives you the same value in as much you make the t the subject okay now let's go in this case now we say t is equal to u plus 2 pi all over 3 when you differentiate with respect to t that means we are going to have the t all over the u is equal to 1 then make the t the subject we are going to say that the t is equal to the u okay good now let's go the next thing here as we have change the new value let's substitute substituting here we're going to have the integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity e raised to the power of minus s in place of t now because we have a new value we have u plus 2 pi all over 3 okay cos in place of t minus 2 pi all over 3 we have u and in place of the t we have the u okay good now let's go in the exponent e raised to the power of minus s u plus 2 pi all over 3 let's multiply let's open the bracket in the exponent in the power so when you open the bracket we're going to have e raised to the power of minus s u minus 2 pi s all over 3 okay we have cos u du okay good now let's go here you know, in the law of indices, you can split the power into two, and at the same time, you can bring them together, right? So, when you split them into two, what are you going to have? When you split them into two, you are going to say that we have the integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity is e raised to the power of minus su times e raised to the power of minus 2 pi s all over 3 all right yes this is what we have now we have cos u du now looking at this very well you can see that a variable is what is u so any function or any value that did not have u we call it a constant any value that did not have this u we call it a constant let's check any of them that is a constant we take it behind the integral sign all right good now carefully looking at this you can see clearly that e raised to the power of minus 2 pi s all over 3 is a constant. Let's take it behind. So when you take it behind, we're going to have integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity. What is remaining is e raised to the power of minus su cos u du. Okay, good. Now let's integrate. Integrating cos u, you know, the Laplace of cos u. You know what it's going to give you? You still remember the Laplace transform of elementary functions, right? Good. You know, it's going to give you S all over S squared plus A squared. But in this case now, our A is 1, okay? So that means we have S all over S squared plus 1. Hello. So when you integrate uh, or when you find the Laplace transform of course U, it's the same as when you are integrating the integral from 2 pi all over 3 to infinity e raised to the power of minus s u cos u du. So when you integrate this, it's going to give you s all over s squared plus 1. All right, good. Now recall that cos a t, okay, is s all over s squared plus e squared. But in this case, now we say that our a is 1. Is that clear? So when you multiply this together, what are you going to have? You are going to see that when you multiply this, we have S multiplied by E raised to the power of minus 2 pi S all over 3. All over S squared plus 1. Hello. So now we see that the Laplace transform of F of T that we are given, it gives us S E raised to the power of minus 2 pi S all over 3, all over s squared plus 1. 
is that clear yes thank you very much for watching let's take more examples please like this video and share to your friends see you next time stay blessed